Hello, this is Pandemic, and today I'm bringing you my very first commentary, and it's going to be part of it, this is part of a series, rather, of what I'm going to call Playbacks with Pandemic, or Pandemic's Playback. I'm not sure, really, but it's going to be something to that effect, where I go through different gameplays of my own, discuss them, kind of like break them down into my, what I use, and the types of strategy that I go through, depending on what map it is and what game mode but um first i wanted to start out with who i am and um i am crg pandemic and i play for a plan crg which stands for chaos reborn gaming and we're not really too you know fancy or anything like that we're, but we're um, a pretty close-knit family, I guess we can say. Um, but me, personally, I've been playing Xbox since Call of Duty 4, which was actually my first multiplayer experience, and I, actually, I absolutely loved it. And then I kind of started going into computer games, where I play, like, World of Warcraft and League of Legends and crap like that, which um, we'll get into that later. But... So to better discuss this gameplay, it's domination on resistance, and I ended up going 32 and 0, and the way I did this, I guess, it was kind of campy, and, you know, but I was with one other friend, so we were with a bunch of randoms, and it's kind of tough to play objective-based games when it's just you and one other guy technically, because, you know, the other guys aren't really going to be listening to you because, well, one, me and this other guy were in a party with each other and we weren't trying to go into game chat because we don't... Sometimes we will, but it depends on the group of kids because a lot of kids on Xbox Live are kind of, you know, annoying sometimes, so we try to avoid that if possible. Um, but I was using the M14 with a silencer with rapid fire for my primary. My secondary, I had FMG9 akimbos. My tactical grenade was a concussion. My lethal grenade being a frag grenade. And for my first perk, I was using blind eye. Not pro, because I don't really shoot stuff down that often. Like, if I have to, I will, but, I mean, it's not, like, my primary job. My second... Um, my second perk was Assassin Pro to, you know, kind of hide me from different little things up in the sky and, like, radar and jammers and whatnot, and so people on the ground couldn't come and find me. And my third perk was Dead Silence Pro, I believe, to kind of quiet, quiet up my footsteps so I could... Up, sneak around the map and you know not get sound horrid. Um, and well, in this particular game, because we were unsure of the competence of our teammates, we weren't really trying to um, go too far, like you know, try to win or anything special like that. So we we do end up losing, but I was mainly trying to get my Moab. Um, so I. What I didn't realize though was I had the assault care pa or the assault streak, and I um, was running a predator missile, a helicopter, and an AC-130, and I ended up running through both of those twice and getting a couple kills with each one, and it, in the 32 and 0. So I was kind of unaware of how far I had to go to get my nuke because of the amount of kills that I got from my predator missiles and stuff like that. But it turned out that at the end of the game, I actually had a kill streak of 23, so I was to two kills away from my Moab, which I was a little upset. But I mean, if I was truly trying to go for it, I'd do more of a specialist kind of thing, so I could actually keep count of my kills and, you know, not have to worry about how many kills I get with my kill streaks and all that stuff. But mainly um, on this map, I we kind of got stuck back in our A side spawn. 
which is, it has its advantages, but it also has its disadvantages. Because if you try to go down B and capture B, you can capture behind the wall to kind of like secretly capture it, but then you can easily get taken out by a grenade or an RPG or some sort of explosive. And if you try to run down that way to try to push into the seaside spawn, it's kind of like a bottleneck. There's only one way in, one way out. There's no turns or anything to kind of keep you away from the enemies. So it's likely that you're going to be gunned down if they have that area covered. And if you go up the middle, you can either go inside the building or you can go off towards the side with the cars. Now if you go off to the side with the cars, you're left open on two sides. And same as if you go in the building, you don't know if anyone's going to be around the corner. And then you have to go down the slope to get out the door. And then once you're out the door, there's a s several places where they could just easily lock that down and watch anyone that's coming through. Now, if you go down A side, it's it's a little bit better because you have the cover of the railings and there's a tree up the middle and stuff like that. But it's kind of um, it's kind of difficult because the way they can look up the stairs, so you don't particularly always see them when you're coming when you kind of turn the corner, you can see just ahead and that's not really going to help you out too much but and then down at the bottom is all those cars which they can hide around and kind of pick you off as you're going down the stairs because you have no cover and then once you get to the bottom there's the balcony and the little underpass that they can kind of hide behind and there's actually a really good line of sight back there when you're looking over the bushes to see up the stairs which I, I'll go through different videos um, compiling um, lines of sights on certain maps that I have found that I love, like they're absolutely great and some of them have already been discussed on the internet but I mean I don't really see too many videos discussing great lines of sights which leads me into the next part here which I'm going to have more videos coming, not just commentaries like this I'm going to try to do a Let's Play series of Resident Evil 2 for the PlayStation 1, which in my childhood was the game that I never played, but I always loved it. Like, it was my favorite game. My dad would play it all the time, and I just, it was really good. So I want to, um, you know, take a crack at that, film it, commentate it, all that stuff. And also, I want to do a kind of like a PvP playthrough overview strategy type deal on World of Warcraft where I do arenas with some of my friends and I kind of commentate it, you know, go over different strategies and what we like to do and maybe help anybody out there that, you know, plays World of Warcraft but isn't too good at arena. I mean, I'm not fantastic, but I know I can I can put in some work from time to time. So and on top of all this, I, you know, like I mentioned before, I had the idea that maybe I could go through some different maps and you know show you my lines of sight that I tend to use kind of often that I find to be very useful. And because you know you don't see too many videos like that out there where there's like anything really really good like that you know you haven't seen before. I mean, there's typical ones like in. Um, village where you get up on the box and kind of see over the wall to the rock where people like to stand on top of. That one has already been expressed, but, you know, just kind of different ones that I haven't personally seen thrown out there already. Um, but with that being said, I would really appreciate it if you guys left me some comments in the section below to kind of, you know, on my gameplay or not my gameplay, but my commentating in general, you know, try to make what you think I could do better. I know I stutter kind of quite a bit here, but, you know, it's my first commentary. I'm a little nervous. Um, also, different, possibly, like, possibly different videos that you guys personally would like to see rather than what I've listed, um, you know, so I could, you know, maybe get those videos out there and, you know, just overall help me help you kind of thing. So, 
so with all that being said, I really look forward to your, your guys' uh, suggestions and getting into this whole commentating thing, you know. I've, I've really been interested in it for a while, and I hope that I can you know, kind of get it to go big. But uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I had to say. So, uh, see ya.